I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on continuous probability distribution functions. We will further explore the probability distribution function to find the cumulative distributive function and also see how we could analyze it to find quartiles, medians and things like that. So the question here is, a continuous random variable x has probability density function f of x equals to 6 times square root of x minus x, where x is between 0 to 1. Find distribution function of x. We also call this, in general, as cumulative distribution function. Or CDF. So from PDF, the probability distribution function will try to find what is CDF. Now, from the very basic definition, it is a function. It is actually the integral of this function. So it is the function at x1 where the probability of the random variable x is less than or equal to the value x1. So that is the definition of this particular distribution function, right? That is how we define a cumulative distribution function. Now we are given the interval where the value of x is between 0 to 1. So it is in the entire domain, right? So from negative infinity to 0 and for greater than 1, it is going to be 0, correct? Okay? So let's figure out what is going to be the distribution function in the given interval for the probability distribution function 6 times square root x minus x. So we could now write this as integral. So this is antiderivative, right? So, so we need to find the integral from 0 to x1 for the given function f of x dx. Now, let's integrate this. So, from 0 to x1, the function is 6 times square root of x minus x dx. This could be written as from 0 to x1. We could take 6, a constant outside, and we'll rewrite this as x to the power of half minus x dx. Now, applying the simple rules, we can now write this as 6 times half plus 1 is 3 by 2, right? So we get x to the power of half plus 1, which is 3 by 2, divided by half plus 1, which is 3 by 2, minus. This is x to the power of 1. So when you add, you get x squared. So we get x squared over 2 from 0 to x1. Substituting, we get the value 6 times x1. So I'm writing this as 2 over 3 now in the denominator. So 2 over 3 x1 to the power of 3 over 2 minus x1 square over 2. And when you put 0, both will be 0. Open the bracket and simplify. So when you multiply by 6, you get 2 times 2, 4. So we get 4 x1 to the power of 3 by 2 minus. Here you get 3 x square. So that becomes the distribution function. So you can now write the answer as f of x1 is equal to 4 x1 to the power of 3 by 2 minus 3 x squared for x to be within 0 to 1 and elsewhere it is equal to 0. So we can say for x greater than or equal to 1 and also it is 0 for x less than 0. Right. So elsewhere it is 0. 
So that is how you can get your distribution function. Now, this distribution function finds huge applications. For example, if you have to find the expression for the median, right? So uh, let's extend this. If you have to find expression for median, what will you do? In that case, we can equate this distribution function to half, correct? So in that case, what you could do here is, let me just write it down here. You can simplify and find the solution. So it will be 4x1 to the power of 3 by 2 minus 3x squared equals to half. Since that is 50%, right? So the probability should be 50, 50%, 50 0 0.5 or half. I hope you appreciate how you can convert probability distribution function PDF to a distribution function or cumulative distribution function CDF. And also, how to utilize this particular method to find expressions or equations for median for quartiles and things like that. If you're looking for first quartile, then this value will be 0 0.25 or 1 over 4, right? So that is how you could actually extend it. I hope you find it very useful and interesting. Feel free to share my videos and if you like and subscribe to them, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.